Welcome here to the European Championships. Um, first, I want to talk to Jordi. I, congratulations on your all-around win in the Netherlands. You got that 80 all-around score that you've been waiting for. And then after that initial score, you've had several subsequent scores past 80. How did that affect your confidence moving forward? Uh, well, uh, we created a program for me that uh, fits perfectly. So now I'm uh, standing here with six routines that uh, I feel comfortable with. And so I'm uh, really excited and uh, I'm ready for the competition on Thursday. Excellent. And what are your specific goals here? And what are the teams, are the Netherlands team goals for the championships? Uh, well, uh, we officially want to uh, end in the top 13 because we want to qualify for Worlds, of course. Uh, for me, uh, yeah, just as uh, with the Dutch championships, I want to uh, put on six uh, clean uh, uh, routines. And yeah, uh, we hope uh, then uh, the team will uh, finish. Uh, Top 12. In the top, <laughs> top 12, maybe a team final, that would be the greatest. So the female Netherlands team is famous for their intros and we keep waiting for when the men's team is going to do an intro. Is there any hope of seeing that for this championships? Uh, no, we were thinking about it, but uh, we just keep it normal and uh, just simple, I think. Yeah. Otherwise, uh, we, we don't feel comfortable doing some uh, crazy uh, things. And we're still men, so yeah. there is a little difference <laughs> there. <laughs> so just waving and, uh, yeah. Um, we're hearing reports from the back gym that there's equipment different specifically on floor. Have you noticed any difference between the back gym and the, and the performance hall? Uh, well, everything in the stadium is uh, on podium. So, yeah, the floor specifically uh, jumps better than in the warm-up hall. Uh, but in the Netherlands, we also train on podium. So for us, uh, the competition floor is uh, more similar than uh, the warm-up halls. So, uh, yeah, that's nice for us to... Uh, to uh, do a competition on. And then of course I want to ask you about your pommel horse routine. You've been a reserve at major competitions for a few times. What are your goals going in and what is the difficulty level that you're going to present in finals? Uh, so my difficulty now is 6.3. And uh, yeah, I just hope that I uh, just uh, um, do my routine as normal as in the training. And then uh, we will see if I manage to, to end top eight and uh, go to the finals. So yeah, I'm hoping for that, uh, but we will see. First goal is, uh, or the, the main goal is with the team top 12. And then, uh, yeah, I will focus afterwards uh, on my Pomoers routine and do it as, as clean as I can. So yeah, let's see about that. I believe that you just finished your degree in biology. And so I wanted to ask, um, are you doing anything professionally with your degree right now? Or are you just training gymnastics full time? And if you're doing both, how do you manage that? Uh, yeah, I just finished. And uh, uh, now I just focus on, mainly on uh, gymnastics. And I'm not doing any uh, studies now or uh, working uh, after or besides uh, gymnastics. So just mainly focusing on uh, gymnastics for now to uh, increase my uh, yeah, stability and uh, uh, difficulty. So uh, for now on, I just focus on gymnastics. Yeah. Excellent. We're going to do a quick fire round. So I'm going to give you some words. And I want you to tell me the first gymnast who comes to mind when I say these words. <laughs> the first is powerful. But do we have to answer like from our team or? You can answer from anyone. It could be any generation, old gymnast, new gymnast. Uh, Ademasu. I had the same in mind. Yeah, but, uh, and from our um, team, Jess Ramsay, he's very explosive and powerful. Yeah, he can be very good. He is already very good, but he has such a potential. But another strong uh, powerful. gymnast, powerful gymnast, I don't know. Just uh, uh, some. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, we can go to the next one. Uh, funny. Uh, from the guy from uh, no, Norway. Norway, yeah. Uh, Sophius. Sophius, yeah. Yes. <laughs> he's, he's such a crazy guy. Artistic. Reese, for me. Reese McGlennigan. Uh, Artistic. Heat. <laughs> yeah, well, but we are at the European, yeah, so. That's true. Uh, Artistic. You it's your turn. anyone in the world. It could be Brazil, oh, Russia. Well, Heat, uh, heat from heat, Australia is yeah. very artistic. Yeah. Energetic. Uh, energetic. Laurent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? No, I will say uh, Casimir. He's very, yeah, Casimir Smith. He's very energetic in uh, stimulating the team and uh, just giving a vibe. Who do you think will be the first male gymnast to add music to their floor routine? Also, Heat. Heat, Torpy, yeah, I think so. 
Uh, no, I, no. I don't see it. No. So he? Well, yes. Yeah. Uh, I think so. I think he would try it in training, but not on the real competition. Yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> but we will see in the future, maybe. I don't know. Awesome. I doubt it. Thank you so much. Good luck on your competition. Thank you. Thank you.